Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This time I want to showcase KringleCon, the uh, Sans Holiday Hack Challenge for this year 2018. Um, I am just at HolidayHackChallenge.com. You can go to it in your browser um, and it is the kind of static page re representation and rendition of KringleCon. Actually if you just scroll down here it'll explain this is the 2018 Sans Holiday Hack Challenge. This is one of my favorite things. I actually uh, found this in 2015 which sounds to be and seems to be anyway the, the, the right time, the perfect time to find this. Uh, I'll cover some of the past challenges once I go through this here. It says, Greetings, holiday travelers. Welcome to the North Pole for KringleCon, the first ever cybersecurity conference hosted by Santa and his elves. So we have a little letterhead here for KringleCon. It says, You can access all the objectives for this year's holiday hack challenge here at this link. And that's the same as the story right on top of the navigation there. It says, As you work on those objectives, you can also attend KringleCon to watch talks, network with other attendees, and work on your objectives by entering the North Pole and visiting Santa's castle, etc. Etc. You can access KringleCon here, which again is the same link for this in the navigation. Also, please do keep an eye on your badge for updates on the narrative and various happenings around Santa's castle during the con. And gosh, we're happy, we're hoping for a fun event this year without nefarious holiday capers impacting us. Cool. So uh, then it has kind of the regular Sans Holiday Hack Challenge boilerplate stuff. Uh, submit all the answers by this date, January 14th, which I think is the, the second Monday in January. Um, hopefully I'm releasing these videos after that because I'm going to consider that the end of the competition, in which case it's fine to uh, showcase a lot of these solutions and walkthroughs. Um, yeah, so I had um, actually participated in 2015, uh, played some of it, didn't like complete it all, uh, played 2016, not as much as I did in 2015, uh, didn't submit anything at all and didn't finish. Uh, so I told myself in 2017 I wanted to play it through and through, and write a report, and uh, that was awesome. That was super fun. I actually uh, got a super honorable mention here. You can see me right down there. That was, I was very pleased with that, very proud of that. I got a personal email from Ed Scotus, and that was probably one of the best things in my life, not going to lie. <laughs> it was it was super sweet. Um, so I have not played anything beyond uh, 2015, um, 2014, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, 2013. It looks like these are actually on back to the SANS webpage. They don't have a dedicated uh, kind of site for them. But if you go to holidayhackchallenge.com, like slash 2017, slash 2016, all the recent ones, again, up till 2015, they have that dedicated page, but the others are, are, are here. So I, I have not played through 2014 and earlier. Uh, if you guys would like to see that, hey, maybe I can do that in a video, and it'd be, it'd be funsies. We'd enjoy it. So, all right, let's go back to Holiday Hack Challenge, because I want to showcase now the story, because that's where we're going to be spending most of our time. These are the objectives and the challenges for the actual challenge, the 2018 Sans Holiday Hack Challenge. I was so excited when this opened. Um, there was so much hype, <laughs> like, waiting at the gates. I think I have a picture. I can put it up. As you walk through the gates, <laughs> excuse me, as you walk through the gates, a familiar red-suited holiday figure warmly welcomes all of his special visitors to KringleCon. It's Santa! Welcome, my friends. Welcome to my castle. Would you come forward, please? Welcome. It's nice to have you here. I'm so glad you could come. This is going to be such an exciting day. I hope you'll enjoy it. I know you will. I think you will. I, I, can, I can feel... I can hear anyway. Like, I can't feel. That's weird. I can hear Ed Scotus being Santa right now. <laughs> uh, today is the start of KringleCon, our new conference for cybersecurity practitioners and hackers around the world. KringleCon is designed to share tips and tricks to help leverage our skills to make the world a better and safer place. Remember to look around, enjoy some talks by world-class speakers, and mingle with our other guests. If you're interested in the background of this conference, please check out Ed Scotus' talk called Start Here, and that will be crucial for the first challenge. It says, Delighted to meet you, overjoyed, enraptured, entranced. Entranced. Are we ready? Yes, in we go. And then we get to go through all of the different questions. Um, I can't seem to remove my answers from here. Um, I, I cleared my cookies, I cleared my local storage, I, and then I was like, screw it, I don't really want to worry about what is actually saving these things. I just won't scroll down enough that you can see the answer. Uh, so this is question one. I'll put it up in the center. Uh, what phrase is revealed when you answer all of the KringleCon holiday hack questions? Uh, holiday hack history questions. For hints on achieving this objective, please visit Bushy Evergreen and help him with the Essential Editor's uh, Essential Editor Skills Cranberry Pie Terminal Challenge. Okay. So from what I understand, all we can do to access these terminal challenges uh, are, are part of KringleCon. They're inside KringleCon. At least once you get the URL, the URL is what's necessary, but then even getting the hints from that elf, you have to play them inside KringleCon. A lot of people don't like the, at least a lot of the people that I know and talk to 
in IRL, right, personally, in real life. Um, they don't really like going through that minigame or walking through the world and chatting with other people. But I think it's fun and kind of necessary and, and cool things to do. So this is KringleCon. Um, you can click through it, and it gives you a little bit of overview here. But we want to register a new account. Um, I guess I'll just use a crap one that I have. Um... If any of you see John Hammond YouTube walking around, you know it's me. Oh, I can't even write it. No. YouTube. YouTube with the U. Uh, password. Hmm. I don't know why I get sketched out when I type my password on camera. Quote, unquote, on camera. Even though, obviously, you can't see any of it. I am from the United States. <laughs> I am at least 13 years of age. Actually... I have to I have to second guess myself sometimes. <laughs> That's my character. So if you wanted to, um, sorry for the glitches here. Wow, the music. Let's turn that off. I don't know if you could hear that. <laughs> music is awesome, though. By the way, uh, the soundtrack for the Holiday Hack Challenge is probably another one of the most incredible things uh, about these challenges, and also being able to chat with everyone and just just is incredibly incredible quality content is, is what Sans always offers. So. Uh, if you wanted to, you can, okay, disable the menu. Uh, there's some help stuff that you want if you wanted to read through this. That's just that question mark. I didn't find that too necessary. Looks like the chat. And if you want to modify your person, you can change the colors and the head. And there's so many uh, stuff to, to work with this. Um, before the game got started, a lot of people were... Oh, I like that. Nice. A lot of people were curious what all of these things did and how were they changing, right? So if you actually open up your developer tools with just F12, you can see all these strange colors on the side here. And that's what I think people begin to call the DNA. And I mean, that's probably just what it really is, the genetic code of this person in their customization. Um, Net Spanker? Net Sparker? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I may have totally butchered that name. I'm pretty sure it's Net Spanker because Net Sparker is the other thing. Net Spanker had an incredible GitHub repository and I, I chatted with him on CentralSec.Slack. Uh, CentralSec Slack. Central Security Slack. I chatted with him and, and this is just really, really cool. He messed with it so much more and kind of learned what was behind this. He reverse engineered a lot of the JavaScript uh, and even put together a nice little menu or infographic for all of these things. All right, that's going to be my dude. I want to be... I like that, I guess. He's my dude. Sorry. <laughs> you totally didn't need to customize a character for a YouTube video. It's completely useless, I know. I'm sorry. I'm not even him! It didn't work! <laughs> do I have to refresh? I'll probably have to log back in if I do that. Okay. Nope, still that thing. Whatever. I hit save changes. I thought I did anyway. But now you know that you can if you wanted to... Um, go ahead and modify your character. So you start off at the gates, and there was so much hype when the gates weren't open. Um, hi, Jay Douglas. So as you move forward, you can see down below I had unlocked a narrative or something that I can hit on my badge. So if I click this little tree, that's the icon on my character, this is inside the CrinkleCon game, uh, the menu for all the narratives, objectives, and hints, etc. So if we get the first narrative as you walk through the gates, a familiar red suited holiday figure will really... Blah, blah, blah. We've covered this already in the static page. Objectives, we don't know yet. Hints, etc. Can we see the talks yet? Okay, we can see the talks. So, and the achievements. Okay, so the talks. This is what makes KringleCon really cool and really unique out of all the other recent Holiday Hack challenges, is that they wanted to make it a conference, right? So they have people, real people, John Strand, uh, Derek Rook, Larry, etc., Jack Daniel. Jack Daniel, that was awesome, I didn't expect that. Uh, Chris LG, Chris Davis, and etc., etc., the list goes on, right? Um, showcasing a talk, either on a technical thing, sometimes a lesser technical thing, just, just like a regular conference. And the way they do this is in a YouTube video, and I'll showcase that in the next video when we go through Ed Scotus' Start Here talk. Um, I won't show it, but I'll try and segment out parts that I can, or, or what I can show, right? Um, but it's awesome, and they do this through YouTube, although in the game, inside Santa's Castle, you can walk into different rooms that have those cons, or the, the talks going on as if it were part of the con, right? Because it is. It is a conference. So you can click, keep clicking around, keep walking through, and then you will end up visiting Santa, who's right here. Uh, <laughs> he looks so jolly. You gotta love it. This is weird. This feels like a Let's Play video, but it's, I, I promise it's not. And he has the same dialogue as uh, what we saw on the static Holiday Hack Challenge page. So 
I won't go through all of it, but it is necessary to talk to him in the game inside uh, KringleCon because uh, just as we finish, we get all of those objectives unlocked and um, his more of the narrative, I believe. So now if we click the badge again, Jen Jackson, 0110, <laughs> came a little close there. Now we have all the objectives unlocked, so we can work through all of them. Uh, and the orientation challenge is the first one to go through, um, and that is, again, just as we saw in the Holiday Hack Challenge static page. That's just the Holiday Hack history thing we need to work through. So I want to, in the next video, showcase uh, that Raspberry Pi or Cranberry Pi challenge. Got to make it cranberry so it's more Christmassy. <laughs> um, and here we go. Inside Santa's castle, as we walk through the doors, there is the Kringle History kiosk, and a bushy evergreen is down here on the... Uh, bottom right with the Cranberry Pie Challenge Essential Editor Skills. So if we were to click on this, or even if we were to talk to Bushy Evergreen, she says, hi, is, do you think Bushy Evergreen is a boy or a girl? I <laughs> I went with girl because I think that's just, I don't know. People, Pepper says his editor is the best, but I don't understand why. He's focusing, he's forcing me to learn VI. He gave me a link. I'm supposed to learn the basics. Oh, cool. Can you assist me with one of the simple cases? I need to, like, actually get out of, of VI. So this is not a hard challenge, but I, I, we'll cover it in the next one, and then we can actually go through um, its video and all. So the hints here, Indiana University and VI tutorials. So let's click on this. Quit the VI editor without saving your changes. Looks like this explains it literally how to do the challenge. Um, well, bring me back. Okay, cool. Yeah. I was surprised it did that. So once we open this up, it's a little uh, Docker container put together with Wetty, or W-E-T-T-Y, um, and just an in-browser terminal. I'm in quite a fix. I need a quick escape. You know what? Let's cover this in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, I think this will be a really fun series. I haven't done this kind of thing before, but I would like to showcase more of the Sans Holiday Hack Challenge. Um, and we'll keep rocking. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey, leave a like, comment, and subscribe on the way out. Thanks.